Yeah, really. Again, really curry tasting. Um, and I don't know if I want to say unfortunately, because uh, it does have a nice flavor. I do like the, the, the flavor of curry. But um, somewhat disappointing to see that, that with, with a list of ingredients like that, uh, uh, that curry's just cutting through so heavily that um, all we're left with is, is curry taste, a little bit of, of sweet, fruity sweetness, not to be identified with any of those fruits. And uh, we do get a little bit of a chili pepper heat going on in the back of the throat area. Maybe a little bit of lingering flavors in the background. But uh, yeah, kind of kind of mild. Uh, has a little sting going. Um, yeah. Queen of Farts, uh, as you can see, based off of the card, no doubt the Queen of Hearts. And there we have the uh, Queen of Hearts symbol. Um, yeah, so, all right, well, very good if you're looking for some, uh, for to add some sauce to some Indian-style cuisine. Add it to just about anything, I guess, but, um... Yeah, if you're looking for those flavors, hey, this is where you might want to start with that. Yeah, Queen of Farts. All right, hey, uh, well, well, that happens. Uh, we can see um, all of those fruits that are uh, listed in here. Again, papayas, guavas, pineapples, bananas, all kinds of fruits going on in there. And it's interesting because uh, the Holy Spirit, okay, uh, from that moment when you first accept Jesus Christ as your Savior, okay, God grants you the gift of the Holy Spirit, okay? And the Holy Spirit is a third part of the Trinity. It's actually part of God. So part of God becomes indwelling inside of you. Now that's really, that's just, oh, that's just amazing to think about. That you, Once you're a believer, you have a piece of God actually being a part of you, inside you, helping you. Uh, Holy Spirit imparts gifts to you, okay? Uh, but there's also, as there's fruits in the sauce, there are fruits of the Holy Spirit. Fruits, kind of like gifts, I guess, you know? Fruits that, that help guide you. And they are the essence of what God is, okay? And some of the fruits of the Holy Spirit are love, okay? And joy, and peace, Patience, and kindness, and goodness, and faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. All right. Now, hey, that sounds, that doesn't sound too much uh, of what humans are about, does it? Uh, that doesn't sound like us as, as humankind. We are we're more sinful, kind of selfish, gravitating towards lustful things and, uh, and, and, and and selfish advances, okay? So, in this case, when, you, when you're a believer and the Holy Spirit is indwelling in you, it, it, your life becomes a spiritual battle, okay? And it's the Holy Spirit trying to guide you away from your sinful self, okay? And as Christians mature, and the more time you spend with Christ, the more time... It has for those fruits to grow inside of you, and that's a good word for a fruit because it's actually growing, and the fruit is maturing in you, and uh, and you will become more Christ-like by following those fruits of the Spirit, that list I just named you there. So, hey, uh, there's more fruits of the Spirit than there is even in the Queen of Farts hot sauce. So, hey, uh, take a look at Jesus Christ today, and... Take him on as your savior, get the Holy Spirit for yourself, and from that point on, it's going to give you some gifts, and those fruits are going to start growing in you, and you're going to become more Christ-like in all of your actions and in your everyday life. Okay, hey man, we're going to take 8 to 10, and we'll be back with Queen of Farts Hot Sauce. Yeah. Hi, and uh, welcome back. Yeah, we're here with uh, Queen of Farts Hot Sauce from... Uh, Hey, John's Fiery Foods out of Columbus, Ohio. Again, this must be the 100th sauce. I'm kidding, but because uh, we're only on show 46. Uh, but we had a lot of K. John stuff. So uh, just another one of their sauces. And uh, yeah, now this one, again, uh, I'm left with like this really lingering curry taste uh, in, my, in my mouth. Uh, really Indian-like 
go to Indian restaurant. Um, it really has that aroma. It really has those kind of flavors going. Um, I will say I got the warmth in my chest, okay? But that's not uh, not not surprising for me. That's not an odd thing for me because I get that with just about all of the sauces I have, and I got a little bit of that, a little bit of a, a, a sensation in the back of my my tongue, and back of the, the roof of my mouth, a little bit in my throat. Uh, that I did eat a hot sauce, though it's not burning hot at all. Uh, it's actually kind of mild. Uh, this guy here again about the curry. Um, yeah, I, I, I'm not going to say I don't like it, because I do like curry a lot, so I, I, do, I do enjoy the sauce. Uh, however, I am, must say that I am slightly disappointed with the list of all these cool ingredients in here, that I didn't really feel that it was uh, well balanced with, the, uh, with all of those things going on. I thought we'd have more complexity to the sauce, and uh, actually all I'm left was with that. This exotic Indian spice in my mouth, and uh, I really wish I would have tasted a little bit more of all those fruits, and maybe even some of the garlic, and maybe even a little more of those those habaneros in there. Um, but um, hey, not all is lost uh, because uh, <clears throat> I am a curry fan. So um, yeah, this is going to have a special place, and uh, this is going to uh, fill in some uh, some of my cooking, um, which, which will add something unique or something I, I don't have in other hot sauces, put it that way. Not unique to an Indian restaurant. But, okay, well anyway, guys, um, there we have another sauce. And uh, again, I wanted to try something a little different and uh, explore that feminine side of myself. So, anyway, um, we shall see you next show. You can try this one at home as we saw how much fun we're having. So, anyway, read your Bible. And until next time, God bless.